हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल क्लिनिकल बाय केमिस्ट्री बाय डॉक्टर पी के प्रभाकर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ए टेस्ट फॉर एम एनो सीड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज सैकेगुची टेस्ट सो वी विल टॉक अबाउट वी विल सी व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट थिंग्स वी विल सी वी विल सी डेफिनेशन ऑफ दिस टेस्ट व्हाट इज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ दिस टेस्ट एंड हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म दिस टेस्ट एंड देन अल्टीमेटली हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू एनालाइज दिस टेस्ट सो व्हाट इज द रिजल्ट एंड हाउ वी विल यूज इट दिस टेस्ट सो फर्स्ट लेट अस नो द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस सैकेगुची टेस्ट Uh, this Sakaguchi test is a test uh, which normally uh, it is a color reactions so it is a uh, color based reactions there are number of many different test we are having for different amino acids or different uh, groups uh, by which we are going to identify either qualitatively or sometime we are also using for quantitative estimation of amino acids so this is a color reaction based test and that is performed for the detection of a specific amino acid either alone amino acid or when it is present in a protein this sakaguchi test uh, its name sakaguchi has been given on the basis of a japanese food scientist soyo sakaguchi in 1925 and this test it is a biochemical test uh, which is a colorimetric so it is a biochemical test meant to be by which we are going to identify we are going to detect a bio compounds biomolecular molecule compound and that will be based on the color production so it is a colorimetric reactions by which we are going to detect detect and quantification of guanidine group uh, so we can use this test both for qualitative as well as quantitative test later on i will tell you uh, why most of the cases we can we are not going to use this one for quantification uh, what is the drawback and why we are not going to use it that we will know later on so but uh, if you want you can use this test and it is a qualitative test for arginine which is either present alone uh, only arginine is there or when arginine is present in the protein so in both the cases free arginine also can be detected or uh, in the proteinous form protein also it can be detected actually it is not the test for arginine it is the test for the presence of guanidine group so whenever guanidine group will be present either in the arginine or any other compound that guanidine group can be detected by this test so sakaguchi test is a test for the quantification as well as quantitative uh, quali uh, sorry qualitative detection identification of guanidine group because it is present in the arginine so that's why we are calling that this test is for arginine detection this is a very a specific test for arginine because out of 20 amino acids which we are using for protein synthesis only arginine is having guanidine group so this is a specific test for arginine amino acid uh, in this case the principle letter principle of this test later on we will say where this guanidine group of arginine is going to react with alpha naphthol or you can call it one naphthol both are same so guanidine group reacts with the alpha naphthol in alkaline condition and give us a red color product that presence of red color product is the positive uh, test for this sakaguchi test so it is a qualitative test for the quantification of arginine now why we are not going to use this test for the quantification quantitative test why we are not going to use it because the quantity uh, in the case of when we are going to perform the quantification test for arginine it is hindered due to slow color reaction so the red color production is not instantly it is going to happen it is a slow reaction so it takes time and meanwhile when complete color formation will be there color uh, formation occurs till that time some guanidine group is going to be destructed so exact concentration cannot be identified cannot be detected cannot be evaluated by this test because red color production takes some time and meanwhile some guanidine group has been detected so whatever you are going to detect whatever you are going to observe that is slightly lower concentration than the actual concentration now this is the guanidine group guanidine group is nh2 cnh and nh2 so there we are having three amino group okay so if you see this is the uh, means uh, arginine in this arginine this is the actual uh, amino acid amino group and there we are having this guanidine group so this group is going to be detected by this test 
so in the rgd sorry in the arginine this is the alpha carbon and there we are having coh group this is amino amino group and this here we are having hydrogen and this is the r group in the r group we are having guanidinone group so this guanidinone group actually this group is going to be detected by this test so there are number of other compounds also there are some medicines some drugs also which contains guanidinone group so you can see here guanidrel this is the guanidrel uh, which is having the guanidinone group second one is a guanoxan there also we are having guanidinone group third one is guanothidine there also we are, we are having guanidine group and fourth one is creatine there also we are having guanidine group so these are the different compound number of other compounds are also there where guanidine group is present so wherever guanidine group will be there they will give you positive sakaguchi test either it is arginine alone or it is present in the protein or guanidine group is present in anywhere else so these compounds are also going to give you positive sakaguchi test now what are the requirement when we are going to perform this test what is our requirement so the first requirement in this case is we require a sakaguchi reagent what is sakaguchi reagent that is 1% alpha naphthol in the alcohol in this 1% alpha naphthol in alcohol we are going to prepare and there we are going to add few drops of sodium hypobromide which is 10% or uh, in the bromine water so that is so you can call it alpha naphthol in al alkaline alpha naphthol plus 10% sodium bromide is sakaguchi test this sodium hypobromide reacts as uh, means it is going this one is going to work as a oxidizing agent so in this reaction we require a oxidizing agent that facilitate the hydrogen bonding between the two arginine molecules so we will see what is the significance of this one during this principle second thing we require i have told you this reaction takes place in alkaline condition so 40% sodium hydroxide provides the alkaline environment and third one we require a sample which we are going to detect it may be arginine it may be creatine it may be any compound or it may be your protein where arginine will be there so this is our requirement now if you we'll see the principle of this test is the sakaguchi test is based on the principle where reaction takes place between the alpha naphthol or one naphthol and the guanidine group of arginine or any other compound so this guanidine group reacts with alpha naphthol in the presence of oxidizing agent which is sodium hypochlorite plus alkaline medium condition should be alkaline this exact reaction of this uh, complete reaction mechanism we are not very it is not very clear but as a result of this reaction we are getting a red color compound and the formation of red color compound is mainly due to the indole like structure formation if you see this is the reactions where uh, we are having guanidino group and this is the alpha naphthol in this sodium hypobromide plus alkaline condition is there because of NaOH now this alpha two molecule of alpha naphthol reacts with this guanidino group so exactly you can see here this is the guanidino group and where one ni this nitrogen is going to react with two molecule of alpha naphthol where brom this bromine also participate so exactly this is a red color compound and this red color compound formation means the reaction is positive means uh, guanidine group is there because we are detecting the protein so we can call it arginine is there either alone or in the protein what is the procedure of test so first we are going to take roughly 3 ml of test solution uh, in a test tubes in which we are going to add 1 ml of 40 percent sodium hydro uh, hydro means hydroxide uh, and mix it very uh, means uh, thoroughly then two drop of alpha naphthol uh, is added with the alpha naphthol means whatever we have already mixed the uh, reagent that is alpha naphthol in ethanol plus sodium hypochlorite hypobromide are added in the same test tube and mixed thoroughly so here either you are putting alone or you are going to mix it so these two mix our reaction that is uh, sakaguchi reagent and then we are going to observe the test uh, observe the color in the test tube so if your color is going to form so we can get two types of test either it will be red color is going to form or color will be intact no, no change in the color so whenever we are having the formation of red color is going to form it means it is a positive test and positive test means the presence of arginine or guanidine compound where guanidine group will be there or 
when red absence of red color red uh, red color judgment forms or the original color is intact it means it is a negative test it means arginine is absent or guanidine group a compounds are absent so no absence so this is the positive test this is negative this is the positive test where red color formation is there and this is the negative test where red color formation does not there so it means absence of arginine or guanidine compounds where red color is going to be absent positive means presence of arginine or guanidine compound and red color will be visualized so this is how we are going to detect the test what is the use of this test there are two important uses sakaguchi test is a biochemical test for the detection of arginine in the free or combined forms of proteins so either arginine alone or it will be in the form of protein and this test is qualitative test mainly but it can be quantitative by the addition of urea which normally stabilizes the color product formations so that can be done otherwise normally most of the cases we are using this one for qualitative test only there are certain limitations also there for this test what are the limitations first limitation is qualitative analysis of the colored product is not possible quantitative because of the it is time taking process it is very slowly reaction going to occur so complete uh guanidine group reactions takes some more time so and meanwhile that compound is going to be uh, degraded guanidine group is going to be degraded so qualitative test is not very accurate test and similarly some of the guanidine group of the solution might be destroyed because of the hypochlorite resulting in the difficulty of complete quantification other than that one this is the all about the sakaguchi test on my video i have got a thank button also from the youtube so if you like the video uh, you can if you want to support our channel uh, you can click on this thanks button and you can support us if you uh, like our video press the like button if you're not subscribed my channel you can subscribe it you can follow my channel on different social networking site thank you very much have a nice day